Hey, it's your old pal Fernbark up at Morningwood, and today I'm going to try a Polish 24 hour ration that I purchased from foreignnmre.com. Good news about this guy is it actually comes with the components listed in English, so I don't have to translate it. Nice. It looks like this might come with a peelable seal, and unfortunately, my girlish grip never does well. Yeah, no, I'm going to have to use a knife. That is a nice heavy plastic cover. Now the best by date on this is August 10th of this year, 2018. So this is probably a couple, three years old Got at least. Bag. Huh, that's pretty cool. Cups. Looks like it's got some candy in there. It's gonna be some uh, biscuits, I'm gonna guess. Oh, I thought this would be a... Uh... I'm just gonna get this out of the bag and sort it. Here's some uh, utensils. Probably a super drink. A little stove. That's pretty cool. Ooh, wow, that's big ass uh, bar of chocolate right there. Probably some kind of cereal bar. It kind of feels like chocolate again. Honey? Something? Oh, well, got a little dent, no worries. Another can of something. More utensils. More biscuits. Two more big entree components. Oh, and some of those uh, indestructible Lithuanian crackers. I got two sets of those, so... Uh, yeah, my teeth are in for a, a chore today. Check out this can. It is completely unlabeled. Well, maybe it says something on the top in here if I lift this. Nope. No clue what this is. Let's take a look at what's inside this cup. I think that these are some of uh, the instant teas that they said on the package. Here's some white sugar. These appear to be some salt and peppers. Looks like your trash bag. A bunch of these uh, coffee flavored candies. I've seen people try these before. I guess they're pretty, uh, pretty coffee-ish. Some gum. And three wet nap type things. Some more gum. I guess you get a gum for every meal. And a coffee and another candy and this looks like oh I mean I guess that this is some Bravo whiskey let's take a look at the uh, heating kit that comes with this I think it's gonna be pretty similar to stuff I've seen before you got your oh, it comes with another little trash bag in it you got your folding stove which I've seen before some ooh, look at those are nice matches right there and wow Here's some extra matches. One, there's two loose matches in here. And you get all these heating tabs. Wow, that's quite a bit. Okay, it actually wasn't two loose matches. It's a box of matches, which are, and then you get three of the uh, windproof, stormproof style After matches. much back and forth between the uh, front of that package and the uh, content sheet that was included inside, I'm concluding that meal A are these uh, crackers some honey. This is a luncheon meat. I think this is a soup. This is a stew. And then you get the candies and this tea, which I'll go ahead and make up. I usually don't drink tea, but it's raspberry tea, so I'll give it a try and see how it tastes. Little, uh, set of utensils. I got a, well, this stuff is flimsy. Oh, I hate the backs on these. They kind of have a raised ridge, so if you get any kind of weight on there, they just dig into your hands. But anyhow, there's a fork. Got a spoon, and it looks, oh, here's a little tiny knife, and another spoon probably for stirring your drinks and soups, and of course your napkin. Let's have a look at our luncheon meat. Oh, actually it smells pretty good. Uh, the gelatinous appearance is not super attractive, but it smells pretty decent. I wonder if I'm supposed to heat that up. Let's take a look at the beef stew. 
Oh, that looks or, that, uh, I'm not sure that's beef. I, I gotta read the package again. I'm sorry, folks. But that actually looks pretty good. Let's give it a whiff. Oh, yeah, that smells good. That smells really good. I'm gonna go ahead and try to start this up with the uh, just the regular matches. It is a little windy here, so we'll see uh, how I fare. My fuel tab has given up the ghost. This little thing they gave you to hook onto the side to act as a handle, just about useless. Just gonna wear a glove. It's almost impossible to stir this without spilling. But it is packed full of these sausages and it smells so good. The f oh man, that's even hot right through the glove. I'm gonna try to stir this up a little. Oh, look at this. It's like a whole sausage in here. I'm gonna try to scoop it up so you can see. So this is the Hungarian sausage with, or Hungarian stew with sausage. It says kielbasa on the outside. I took a sip of the broth and this sausage is smoked and delicious. I'm gonna give her a bite right now. Yeah, wow, that is so good. I would go to a store and buy the sausage right this second. That's how good it is. Not really much in the way of vegetables in here for a vegetable stew. It's pretty much just uh, sausage in a broth. And I'm fine with that. I'm gonna get two things going here. One's gonna be my tea. Oh, there's a nice tear notch. I say nice and then I struggle with it. So that's what that looks like. And here's my uh, soup. That's got another nice tear notch. That's weird looking. You know what, this smells like raspberries. Yeah, that's gonna be interesting. That's not tea, that's coffee. I think this is the raspberry tea. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop open my crackers here. They're a little crumbly, not too bad. I've definitely seen worse. I'm gonna try a slice of this gelatinous luncheon meat on a cracker. It's about 60 degrees out here right now, so it's, it's fairly cool. I'm gonna give that a bite. That's really good. Even cold, that's really good. I like these crackers a lot too. Very nice and airy. Wow. Man, I like to find those in the store as well. No kidding. This is a lot of food for breakfast. I have another bite of this. This tasted so good. Mmm. Kind of have to eat it fast. It cools off in a hurry. God, that is some greasy stuff right there. Woo! There isn't really any nutritional data with these, but I'm gonna guess that the fat content of this is pretty screaming high. This sausage is pretty loose, and you can just feel the uh, grease in your mouth, and I'm pretty sure that that's a, a pretty, uh, pretty significant portion of that is fat. I mean, it tastes delicious, but yeah, it's pretty fatty. Look at the size of the napkin you get with this. This is pretty nice and substantial, which is kind of a good thing because with a meal this greasy, you're gonna probably dab your face quite a bit. I'm gonna try a little bit of this honey on a cracker. Well, it's, it's a little firm. Oh my God, it's rock hard. Well, if I had a microwave, I could put it on top of that. I might save this for later and uh, heat it up when my esbit's hot. Well, I'm just gonna put it on the cracker. I don't care. That honey was ridiculously sweet. I'm going to try some of this jet black coffee. That's pretty good. In fact, that's really good. 
Might be the best instant coffee ever had. I mean, that's not really saying much. You're typically not very good at it, but yeah. That's good, just jet black like that. Wow, that's good coffee. So here's a curious thing. This ration, or this entree, comes with a lid that you could reseal it back up. And I wonder if maybe they would normally only eat part of that and eat all that, and then have this with what is a giant amount of leftover crackers as a snack mid-morning. I have no idea. Someone's gonna have to school me on that one. Let's go ahead and give this raspberry drink, or tea, a try. Wow, it actually tastes more, I don't taste tea at all, it just tastes like a raspberry, uh, like a warm raspberry Gatorade or Kool-Aid or something. That's kind of got a bit of a tea aftertaste to it, but uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. I don't like tea. After messing with that honey, I'm in pretty significant need of a wet nap. Let's check this thing out if I can get it open. Oh man, I just put it right down to the bottom. There we are. Whoa pretty lightweight I just tore right into it that's quite a bit smaller it's fairly wet it has a nice lemon smell to it I don't know if it's getting the, that honey off my fingers or not it's trying it's a, yeah it needs to be a little bigger and sturdier after I divided everything up into its what was listed as included in the meal I had these items left over this is a cereal bar obviously chocolate and I had two teas left over, which I guess the way that mixed up, I bet you could mix that up cold and have that throughout the day. I'm going to probably save this for later. And if I had read this a little earlier, I probably would have had that for breakfast. Although, I don't know, I'm pretty full after eating those other pieces. I didn't even finish all, right, all the time crackers. Time for some dinner, and I'm going to go ahead and go over the components from the C portion of the ration. Uh, it's another package of these crackers or biscuits, however you want to call them. The raspberry drink. This is some jam, and I think it was, oh man, what was it when I looked it up? I can't remember, some kind of berry. And, everybody's favorite, pig knuckles. In addition to the pig knuckles, we also have our two candies and uh, some gum and our fresh, uh, fresh nap and some of our plastic cutlery. So let's take a look at these knuckles. Oh my. There's your close up. It actually smells pretty decent. It smells a lot like the uh, luncheon meat I had earlier today. I'm gonna go ahead and start a fire and get them uh, warmed up. So just for a change of pace, I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these stormproof matches. Oh boy. can is a little smaller. Well, it fits on there pretty good. Let's take a look at this jam while I wait for my knuckles to heat up. That's a pretty flimsy container. I'm trying to figure out what kind of fruit that is. I think it's a raspberry. Give that a taste. Um, still not sure what it is. It tastes good, but I can't. Well, the package says that it's cherry. It's pretty good either way. So I went ahead and mixed up the uh, beverage with cold water instead of hot. We mixed up really good, but it's not raspberry this time. You can tell it's not uh, red at all. Let's see what flavor this is. Um, some kind of, oh, it's kind of like a, a lime flavor, even though it's not lime colored. Kind of like, almost like lime with a hint of apple. I don't know, I'm probably getting it wrong, but it's not bad. It actually tastes really good cold. Here's the pork knuckle all heated up. She ain't much to look at, that's for sure. It smells way better than it looks, I can assure you of that. Let's go ahead and take a bite. 
really tender, really savory. I'm trying to get another bite on there, but I, boy, it's super good. It's actually kind of tastes a lot like ham. It's definitely plenty salty. I'm gonna go ahead and toss in one of my pepper packets. Well, it looks like a lot, but I'm gonna stir it in. Let's have a sample with the pepper. Boy, this container is pretty hot. They got this packed in here so tight, it's super difficult to get it out without making a mess. Gosh, I'm making a mess. Get on the cracker. Well, I finished eating this two words I don't want to say out loud, try to pronounce poorly. But man, that was really, really good. And it doesn't look like a can this small, whoops, would be that filling, but you, it was so tightly packed that when you put it on top of that full pack of crackers, incredibly filling. It's time to try the coffee candy. I've been sucking on this coffee candy for, I don't know, like 10 or 12 minutes, taking forever to finish off. It is a very strong coffee flavor, and if you don't like coffee, you would probably not enjoy this even a little bit. I like it all right, but I'm you know, not really interested in having another one again. Here's something you don't get too much on your typical ration review, is a ration review in the rain. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this can, which is supposed to be chicken filet in cheese sauce with rusks. And I have no idea what that is. And also this pouch, which contains, I'm pretty sure, freeze-dried fruit. Also included in the menu with these two items was another packet of this drink mix. We'll see what flavor that is. And of course, your candies and your wet nap. And I'm gonna go ahead and include this cereal bar since I'm pretty hungry right now. Uh, this smells like the lemon-lime stuff I had uh, yesterday. But we'll go ahead and mix her up. Take a look at what's inside this mystery can. Ooh. Oh wow, it is a big fillet of breast. Oh man, I just shot that all over myself. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, wow, there's a couple of big pieces in there. I took a sniff of it. It actually smells a lot like uh, cream of mushroom soup. It's exactly what it tastes like. I'm not sure why they call it cheese sauce. For my chicken to heat up, let's take a look at this. It's pretty interesting. It looks like, um, let me see if I can get it in here. Here's where all the stuff came from. Poland, the Philippines, Ecuador, uh, then shipped to Texas and back up to uh, Washington State. So these, this fruit has traveled quite a bit. Let's take a look inside. Let me get in here. This is trickier to do on camera than you think. All right. Yep, just some dried fruit. I got her spread out on the plastic lid so you can get a better look. Obviously, there's a strawberry. That looks kind of like an apple. Wow, it's really good. And you can probably tell it's crunchy. Too bad there's so little of it. Let's take a look at this cereal bar. Please, Kenny. Look that. Pretty interesting. Can't tell. Wow, that is crazy dense. It has a bit of an apricot flavor to it. Otherwise, kind of dry and not very interesting. Bust out these crackers, though my teeth already hurt just looking at this package. I've had these before, and they are some sturdy buggers. They smell pretty fresh, though. I think I'm just going to dip it in here, see if I can snap it in half. Oh, not too bad. I'm going to just let that soak in the juice for a little bit, maybe soften up some. I did taste this sauce a little bit. I started to pick up more of the cheese flavor. This is a real bear to stir uh, over the fire, because these pieces are so big, they just... Uh, didn't want to get stirred around very good. Anyhow, let's see if I can do this without dribbling all over the place. A little napkin action. Man, that's good. Really tender chicken. 
The cheese is in there. It's a very mild flavor of cheese. Just very savory and good. God, that's a big piece of... I should have put that on some kind of... Try a big piece of chicken on this hard as hell cracker. Mmm. Those crackers are something else. These actually taste pretty good this time. They have uh, some kind of seasoning in them. Very good. Okay, if you can bite through crackers it. up in there. I really think the U.S. needs to go back to the can and give up the retort pouch. I mean, just look how good that chicken is coming out of there and it was a much bigger piece in the first place so uh, yeah this is really very good if you haven't had both chicken from a retort pouch and chicken in a combat ration can like this the chicken in a retort pouch kind of gets compressed and weirdish I mean it'll taste okay but it doesn't have the nice texture that you're seeing right here and it doesn't retain the same shape as well so this is so much more pleasing to eat than anything you get out of a retort pouch. These crackers have a rye flavor, and they had a rye flavor the last time I tried them. It just doesn't seem it's quite as prevalent as the first time, and it was a little off-putting the first time. These are much nicer to eat, still rock hard. Well, I tell you what, you dump a couple of those Lithuanian tank treads in there, and that is gonna fill you up. I am stuffed. That is so good. That sauce has such a nice mild flavor. Really delicious. I should have threw my uh, other pepper packet in there. I think that would have just take it right over the top. Well, it's time to try out whatever this thing is. Well, I really wish they would put some toothpicks in there. That would be nice because that chicken kind of gets into places. Mmm. It's orange flavored. Pretty nice. Well, the only thing I have left to try is the chocolate. But uh, since uh, Art and Nina were so cool to me on this ration, I'm going to be, I'm going to go ahead and give Nina her cut. So I'm going to send this back to Texas. Hope you guys enjoy that. I'm going to go ahead and give this gum a try. It's pretty funny. It says, uh, <clears throat> where did, it, oh, oral cosmetic product. It says, I don't know if the camera can pick that up. Let me see. Maybe it will. Ooh. A couple of chiclets in there. See if that gets a chicken out. Decent minty gum. Each entree in that thing was fantastic. Um, really nothing not to like about it. I was really really surprised by those pork knuckles. Those are fantastic. Just tastes like the most tenderest ham you ever had. It doesn't look like ham. It's just what it tastes like. And uh, yeah, I would definitely, if you got the opportunity to give one of these a go, go ahead and do it.